Hello, my name is Joe, and in this course, I'm going to take you through how to create photogrammetry models for films, TV, and games. If you find this helpful, please like and subscribe and hit that bell for more videos. And don't forget to check out my website, 3dassetlibrary.com, for Unreal and Unity Engine assets. Also, if you find this helpful, please check out my Patreon below for exclusive content relating to photogrammetry, games. So in the previous part, we built our dense cloud and it should look something like this. There might be a slight difference in it. Uh, the reason being that I had to close my um, program and rebuild the dense cloud again. Um, as long as yours looks like the previous video or similar to the previous video, you're absolutely fine. All that should be different really is just the sort of little areas around the boot. Um, so don't worry about that. What we'll do is we'll right click on chunk, process, build mesh and we're going to go from the depth maps first what we'll do is we'll just leave it at medium and uh, the face count as high so the face count um, obviously the, the quality speaks for itself the higher the quality the more detail you'll get out of it not necessarily always means that you'll get a better result because sometimes you can get a lot more um, noise in your picture um, in your model sorry and your face count generally I'll leave this as high and you'll see why a little bit later down the uh, uh, in a little bit later down the other sections um, this allows us to get our normal map out of here. If we drop down um, advanced, yours should be the same as this. This is generally the default. I don't I haven't ever changed this. And what we'll do is we'll start this, leave it to do what it's got to do, and pause the video here and wait until yours is done and then rejoin. And once your depth map has finished, you should have something that looks like this. You might have a little bit of noise around it or whatever. Don't worry about that because I'll show you how to clean that up. But as you can see here, we've got a pretty good result. Bear in mind, this isn't textured, so don't worry about that. You know, you may look at it and think, well, you know, it looks a little bit blurred here, etc. But you can see here we've got a very clean um, 3D scan, full 360 degree all the way around. And... Um, even a little bit inside, you can see the sock that I put in there to, to bolt the boot out. And um, what we'll now do is in the next part, we will generate the same mesh from the dense cloud and then we'll look at the two to see the differences if there are any differences. Um, so let's move to the next part. So in the previous section, we generated our mesh from our depth map and this time around, we're gonna generate our mesh from our dense uh, cloud. So what we do is right click chunk, as always, process, build mesh, We'll drop down this field that says source data and dense cloud. Now leave it on arbitrary 3D, leave the poly count on high, uh, face count on high. As you can see here, it's gonna give you an idea of the amount of, uh, I believe it's faces that you'll get on your um, your model. Um, you, obviously you can drag down, as I said, um, it just drops it. And you can even set your own custom one. Generally I'll leave it on high because that allows me to get the normal maps, which I'll show you how to do um, in a, a future uh, section. Um, under advanced, Yours should match this. These are the defaults, so you just should be identical to this. And then what we'll do is we'll press OK. Pause the video here and wait until yours is done, and then we shall carry on once yours is. So once this is done, you should get your boot that's similar to this. You might have little noise around it, like we've got a little bit of white here. I'm not sure if it's going to show it on the videos, but a little bit. Of, yeah, here we go. Um, white outside the mesh. Um, I'll show you how to get rid of that in the next part. Um, so yeah, yours should look very, something very similar like this. So we're just going to see if we can notice any differences between the depth map and the dense cloud. So over here, you don't need to worry about this. I've set this up purposely for the, the purpose of this to, uh, to have the, the depth map and the 3D model. If I click on the depth map, you can see there that we're getting uh, differences between the two. Um, so for me, the depth map, I believe, would be fine for our purposes once we put the texture on top. But it might be that you prefer the dense cloud um, because it's picked up, you know, it probably has picked up more detail. Um, but this is smoother. So it's, it's you know, it's, it's really what you decide and what you think is best for your model um, and that your situation you're in. As I say, the more you do this, the more you'll get used to it and think, yep, yeah, I need to use a dense cloud for this or I need to use um, uh, a depth map for this, etc. So yeah, what we'll do is in the next uh, part, we'll just see how to get rid of these little white bits that are floating around um, off the shoe, um, which will just, uh, on that one, which will uh, just gives us a little quick um, clean up of this. So let's move to the next part. So on the dense cloud, and this can also apply to the depth map as well, we've got little bits of dots here that are outside. And obviously you can get rid of this in your 3D software, um, but I prefer to just do it now because it's so quick and simple. Obviously you can get um, uh, meshes that have a lot more things floating around it. And um, there's two ways of doing this, which I've shown in the previous one. One is to get your marquee tool and delete. 
and the other which I generally use first is model, gradual selection, drop down criterion to compo uh, connected component size, uh, let it do its thing and then just up this up to about like 90% and it'll select everything that's not attached to the boot. Um, and then yeah, you can see here we've got a few little things uh, just floating around there and then press delete. So there we go, we've generated our uh, mesh um, and cleaned it up and we're pretty happy with this, I'm happy with this. Um, I think I'm going to use for this one for the depth map because you can see there, there's a, there's a good example. Um, when we switch between, we're getting a little bit of jankiness here and a little bit of, uh, of the sort of, uh, I assume dirt or something there. Um, so for me, the depth map is going to be fine because obviously something like a shoe, um, unless you're doing a commercial advert, isn't going to be seen um, from a distance. We might have a different here. Yeah, so you can see there um, the dense clouds better for that. But I'm hoping that when we apply our texture that I'll be able to show you how to um, patch this little bit here. Um, so let's move on to our next section.